Welcome to the course Draw from the Mind with the Zen Doodle. Welcome to the course Draw from the Mind with Zen Doodle. My name's JJ, and I'm going to start with a little bit about myself um, that you should know for taking this course. First, I am an artist. I have been an artist as, um, as far back as I can remember when um, it was available through school. I quickly joined and more recently I am enrolled in a figure drawing course just because it is always good to be learning. So that's the good thing about art. You can always get better at it. I've been featured in an art show in 2016. Um, it was a collection of gothic artwork that I did, hand-drawn. And I post a lot of my artwork online at unhingedtitan.com. You can also find resources for this course. But while I do like to be involved in the art community, I know that um, going to school for it wasn't my, I guess, my calling. Instead, I went to school for computer science, and I found that to be very useful for combining my passion for art with coding. Um, and also, many masters such as Leonardo da Vinci and Albert Einstein, they used both sides of their brain uh, in creative um, hobbies as well as mathematics. So if you're not uh, a artist type, this will definitely be something you can use um, to be more mindful and be better at problem solving. Let's continue on to drawing. Um, I'm not going to go too much into the details, but I do want you to have the same set of tools I use. Um, and if you want to use um, a pencil and a sticky uh, post-it note, that's fine, but I'll give you the best items to buy just so you can get quality. To me, I I even use a artist pen that costs five dollars to write a to-do list just because they are a thousand times better than any pen you will ever buy at any stationery store. They're called Faber-Castell pens. There's also Micron, but the nib size is 0.3. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry, I'll show you in a little bit. Online resources point you to where you can find Zen Tangle, which is a trademarked um, phrase of what this is. And I want to hear what your personal artist brand would look like. You can share that in the discussion. You can just say um, one or two things about what you hope to be with uh, your art, whether you're a comic artist, whether you just want to use it for um, use it as a means of advancing an idea that you can run with and explain something on the back of a napkin. 